Hello guys, in this video I'm going to repair and upgrade this uh, Lenovo ThinkPad X230i. Uh, this thing is in pretty decent shape overall, but uh, it has a big crack here and another uh, split plastic right here. So, let's get to it. These are the specs. It has a Windows 7 license, an i3, 2GB of RAM, no hard drive and no uh, KD for the hard, uh, hard drive, and the uh, RAM cover is missing. So I bought a few things to make sure that uh, I can do this. Hard drive, KD and uh, plastic cover, RAM cover here. Uh, let me just see. Western Digital uh, Scorpio Black Drive, 330 gigabytes should be, yes, that's right. And two more gigabytes of RAM. And of course we will also need this thing, super glue. So let's throw this away. And put this lap laptop on our workbench and start working on it. First thing first, let's move this a little bit. We need to remove the battery. So unlock, okay, it's unlocked now. Put it aside. I always like uh, when I'm upgrading or working on a laptop that has never been turned on in a while to take out even the memory that's already in and put it back in just to make sure it will make uh, proper contact. So, memory in, 2 gigabytes at that moment and the other memory in. Okay push it down, should be all good now. So, let's put the hard drive cover back on. Although sometimes it's better to actually turn on the laptop before doing something like this, just to make sure that uh, everything is working well. I bought this cover uh, second hand, so as you can see I got a ton of screws with it, because uh, yeah, if I could actually take it out of this bag, that would be great. Some more screws, they keep falling. Because on the cover itself, it seems to be only one screw present. So now I need to see about what size it is. And put another one. And sadly, I think all the black ones are either too long or too short like this. What? Let's see. Yeah, too long. So, not happy about that. I'm, think I, I'm thinking I'm going to use a white one. That's the correct length, but wrong color. Ah, that shouldn't really be a problem. Okay, put it there, put the cover back in, put it down, and now, I'm, now I see, oh, actually no, there is a screw here, but uh, we only have a hole here, so there is, I don't have to put a screw there. Okay. Okay, tightened. Let me try and see if I can find the marker. Just a little bit. It will not be perfect, but what can I say? It will be a bit less 
annoying. Okay, and you are done. Uh, next, we need to put in the hard drive. These screws I will put to the side. They will come quite handy when working on other laptops. So I'm glad that uh, the seller of the cover also sent those to me. Okay, let me just see what's the direction inside there. Okay, from what I see, I'm not able to show you because, yeah, it's really... D okay, actually I'm thinking... One moment. Let me try and show you. Okay. Hopefully you can actually see the con contacts in there. That means the hard drive will go in like this. So because the hard drive goes in like this and this thing will be here like this let's see how it attaches to to this thing actually and sadly I have absolutely no clue how it attaches, attaches. ok some screws just uh, flying away I need to find one, it fell down Ok, uh, I have no clue, this is a little bit bent from shipping, so I don't really like that, but yeah, what can I do? And I'm thinking that actually in this laptop, the hard drive is not directly attached to the plastic cover. In many laptops, mostly Dell's, yeah, I think Dell's, uh, it is attached and you pull the hard drive out with the cover itself. But no, I think this is just a cover, so uh, yeah. In this case, this needs to be on our side of things for sure. And this thing needs to be in here, something like this. If I could actually make it go on top of the hard drive. Because as I, as I said before, it's bent from shipping. Maybe you can see. So. Yeah. Don't really like that it's bent, but it is what it is. Okay. In the end it's in place. back in that's one screws for hard drive uh, differ from other screws because they are uh, really short and uh, stubby cannot use uh, most other uh, laptop screws. And the one for this cover, it's actually the same type, so in a moment I will go hunting for the one that uh, actually fell down. This is good. Hmm. We might have an issue. This thing might actually have a slim hard drive. And as you can see here, I do not have a slim hard drive. Hmm. That's actually a huge issue. Oh well. 
found the missing screw found another hard drive still the thick uh, type so it still doesn't fit even the hard drive by itself without uh, any sort of cover or something it doesn't fit so I need a slim drive that's not going to be easy yeah screw here maybe it falls down again and I bought a charger for this thing but uh, I'm not even sure if the charger is the right one so uh, because it uh, when I bought it God damn it, I'm, I'm going to I'm going to lose this screw when I bought this charger I didn't even have uh, had this laptop so it was bought randomly it was a good price and I always work with Lenovo so why not so no clue but it will probably work but I need to find hard drive so yeah we'll continue later okay so it has been a few days since I've worked on this thing uh, I don't have a hard drive at the moment uh, so that's on its way it's uh, not that easy to find a slim hard drive as you would think and uh, yeah I decided that although normally I first install Windows and make sure everything is working before I clean it and do other things to it this time I'm actually going to repair every single uh, visible thing and clean it and then put windows on it because I don't have a hard drive so this is the only way to make some uh, progress so I'm going to investigate and see what's the problem with this thing first as you can see here it could be just uh, popped out but I'm not sure so let's see doesn't really want to pop in so be back in a moment yeah because why not if you can believe it actually it did uh, pop back in right after I stopped the video it's not as tight as on the other side because this has stayed in the improper position for a while so in time it will probably go back to its original position but let me show you it's not coming out so it is latched it is 100% latched I, I have to pull on it really really hard and it still wants to go back so yeah that's about it this one is in place and uh, yeah next thing this thing this little corner probably when it bumped here it uh, also uh, opened up uh, in this corner so for this one I'm thinking all I need to do is to actually put in some super glue because that's about the only thing that you can do in a situation like this make sure everything fits well together and just uh, put super glue all along the crack and do your best uh, for the super glue not to come out uh, of the, the opening the crack but that's not uh, always so easy to do so let's get to it if you look closely here you can see that uh, this uh, metal is actually bent to the outside pretty badly so first thing i need to straighten that and put it back in and then i might uh, just start gluing this because if i glue this already and then i need to force it to put that thing back in I can crack it once again so uh, I'm going to try and avo avoid that so let me zoom out and hopefully you can see what I'm doing in uh, high speed yeah sadly there is absolutely no way of bending this thing in apart from uh, resting the laptop on the good side and hitting it right here with something slowly until it bends I don't like this it uh, vibrates the components a lot but at least we don't have a hard drive inside yet obviously remove the battery before doing this thing try to use something so you don't hit directly the metal 
and this is a huge hammer so I'm going to try and go really really slow okay it went down a bit it's not finished but it's better than what it was almost perfect and yes the obvious solution would be to take apart this whole laptop and do this while the motherboard and everything else is not inside but that's a huge amount of uh, work and honestly normally all the stresses should go through the metal case Okay, in my humble opinion, we are level and this thing is finished. To have the best possible chance of uh, doing this thing correctly, I removed the sticker. As you can see, it's already uh, pretty worn out. You don't see the text anymore, just the overall shape. Uh, shape sorry. And uh, obviously this needed to come out, because if I put glue from the side you will obviously see it to the whole crack, so glue needs to be put in, uh, put in sorry, here, and then I put this uh, back on. You need the uh, water-like type of uh, super glue, not the gel one. Yes, my hand will be in the way because at the moment the most important thing to me is to put this in the correct position and filming is just uh, secondary. Okay, that should be good. Now I just want to do a test fit with uh, this other element. The problem at this point is that this is just a tiny bit worked, so it will not uh, like going in place so you need to bend it make sure you do not break it even more than it already is so yeah it needs some uh, persuading Yeah, this is impossible to be a perfect fit from what I see at this point, 100% impossible. It's, uh, it's too damaged and uh, the shape is way too irregular to make a perfect fit anymore. Make sure this uh, metal foil is not in the, the gap
we want plastic on plastic, we don't want that. I'm thinking this will be pretty decent if I put uh, the super glue now. Not perfect, but pretty decent. Let's see what we get now. Sometimes when you already put in the glue, it's even harder to, to align things. Okay, so it's not perfect, but uh, I think it's decent enough. At least you do not have uh, glue coming out of the crack. I always hate it when you can see glue all over. So I'm just going to put a little bit on the underside here, a little bit here in the corner where plastic is actually missing, and maybe a bit here on the underside because I have a hole to which I can put some, and maybe a little bit here under the, the sticker. And that should be it. Again, not perfect, but it is glued and it should do the job. If this would be a polished uh, surface, it would be very simple. I would fill the hole or the crack with super glue, then sand it down, then polish it with polishing paste. It would look really well, but this uh, texture makes things a lot harder. So. The only thing that I can do is now try with a knife just to take uh, the edge here that you can see so they sit a bit more flush. I'm not really sure if I can do that and still uh, have a nice look but I'm going to try because at the moment it's a little bit annoying because you have a, a little bit of a step here and you can feel it with your finger. So let's see what we can do. looking a bit better but I'm still a bit annoyed of uh, the fact that you can clearly see it but the plastic was bent so this wasn't just cracked it bent before uh, cracking so that's way way harder to make uh, look make it look perfect I'm going to try and put in these cracks a little bit of uh, shoe shine and uh, see if they get covered by it I let the shoe shine uh, dry, <laughs> maybe it's even too dry now, I'm not sure how easily it can be removed from the areas I don't want it, eh. decently easy, although it uh, kind of uh, polishes more than I would have wanted, but yeah. I think it's good enough.
So as you can see the cracks are uh, filled up now, but uh, yeah, you can still see them. <laughs> no matter what I do, you can still see them. It's impossible to to make them invisible. I'm going to polish this uh, shoe paste, uh, shoe shine, sorry, as best as I can. And obviously then I need to, to clean the whole laptop, so this area will most likely be uh, way better uh, hidden. It will blend in way better with the rest of the laptop after I, I clean it all, but uh, yeah. You can still see it had some uh, big issues in this corner. Oh well. And on camera it's way worse than in real life. Let me tell you that. I don't know how to show you. I think... No. Even now it's way worse than what I see with my own eyes. The camera has a way of uh, showing you all the defects in their... Uh, Glorious, uh, in their glorious. I have no idea where am I going with this. So yeah, let's uh, let's clean this whole thing. Okay, as you can see, the laptop is clean now. Uh, I've also cleaned up the battery, but we are missing uh, one standoff. Uh, I'm going to put this one. Uh, it's small, but it's made out uh, of rubber from another laptop, and uh, it will do the job of not letting the battery sit on the plastic directly. As you can see, it is raised as the original one should be. So it will stay uh, on the plastic itself and on the rubber itself and not on the plastic. Yes, it can wiggle around if you push it a lot, but I don't think uh, anything bad will happen to it. So yeah, that's about it. Now, waiting for the hard drive. I finally bought a hard drive. It's in a caddy, so I need to take it out. Put it in the correct caddy, put it back in, put in the battery. You might have noticed this is another charger. I had a 90 watts uh, charger for this. This is a 65 watts and I'm going to use the original 90 watts. Uh, not original, it's not for this one particular laptop. It's just the original Lenovo charger. Also this one it's original so didn't know, don't know why I used that word. But I'm going to use the other charger to a bigger laptop, for a bigger laptop. And this one is way more than enough for, for this one. So, let's go some high speed uh, camera now. This is a slim versus a standard laptop hard drive. I think it's 7 millimeters and this is 9 millimeters. And if I'm not mistaken, there are even slimmer ones, 5 millimeters or something like that. So yeah, let's put this in. It's uh, 320 gigabytes. Okay, let's power this thing on and see what we get. Is this the power button? Uh, 
let me see some BIOS F2, F12, F10 something worked we have the hard drive, it's being recognized let's see Settle. ok i3 uh, 2370M 2.4 GHz 4 uh, gigs of RAM did it only have 2 and I put 2 more I worked on this laptop for uh, such a long period that I don't even know uh, its configuration anymore so yeah sorry about that uh, yeah I'm going to do my usual uh, BIOS tweaking and then uh, I will boot from this uh, USB drive put Windows 7 on it activate it and then upgrade to Windows 10 so let's get to it Windows 7 is cloned onto this thing as you can see it's coming from an E5510 laptop it's a Dell cloned to a Lenovo a few generations apart working perfectly it also recognized that uh, it is moved to another PC so it needs uh, the new key which I will input off camera of course have a few drivers missing I'm not even going to bother to install them because I'm going to upgrade to Windows 10 and most likely Windows 10 will find them by itself so uh, yeah Java just finished upgrading uh, my phone ringing in the background so let's input the key and uh, continue activation was successful so that is done uh, the battery doesn't seem to be really happy I wonder how long uh, it can last but yeah first let's upgrade to Windows 10 ok to upgrade to Windows 10 you must come to this uh, page I will put the link in the description of the video click on upgrade now it will download the executable file which I will move uh, to the desktop close this, no longer required, this is it double click on it obviously the driver, is, uh, the driver for the video is not installed uh, so we don't have the good resolution here but we can still see enough to do this some checks, all ok, next it will download Windows 10 and maybe ask uh, you for a one or two next uh, uh, clicks and that's about it then it will, it will do most of the stuff by itself so yeah we will continue now the download process has finished and the install process it, uh, itself has started it will do a part of the install in Windows 7 then it will reboot and continue so next uh, we should be in Windows 10 hopefully and we're in let's go to some quick settings and it will do some other things in the background for a few minutes and then we should uh, boot into Windows we are fully booted into Windows 10 let me delete everything that's not required anymore ok uh, we do not want one drive so we will not let it start with Windows and we will close it I have no idea what this is this is the first time I see it 
is this something yeah this must be something from uh, the newest Windows 10 version yeah obviously uh, let's do a quick test and see if uh, all drivers are installed as you can see Windows is activated so we have a fully functional Windows 10 installed it's still going to do stuff in the background as you can see all drivers are installed so there was oh, absolutely no need to to install anything uh, on Windows 7 because Windows 10 found everything on this uh, X3 230i so good uh, let me close this uh, yeah what else what else what else I don't want uh, Skype to start up every single time Windows starts up as you can see obviously it's doing stuff in the background because uh, OneDrive just popped uh, back up again I'm going to close it it's really... oh ok you can close it by clicking on show people button ok more details performance here we will see that the hard drive is working like crazy this is what happens when you upgrade to Windows 10 for half an hour an hour maybe two hours sometimes it will work like mad don't be afraid let it do its thing and that's about it startup we do not want uh, Skype as for the other ones yeah I think they, they are going to do the, their own thing and I'm not going to disable anything else so yeah this is pretty good still upgrading drivers as you heard maybe by the sound and let me just uh, show you a neat little trick with this laptop after one moment Ok, I will press uh, the function and the space keys. Yeah, the keyboard lights up. Two levels and then you have a LED here. If you like the old uh, Lenovo style more than a light up keyboard. This is awesome. I must say this, uh, this is a neat little trick I've used uh, this LEDs um, more than once when dealing with Lenovo's and they are really really nice so yeah uh, be back in a moment and uh, give you a last impression and uh, end the video okay and uh, I finished uh, working on this laptop it still has uh, some marks on it but overall it looks pretty good the battery lasts for about 50 minutes to an hour something like that an hour I, I'm thinking it says about 50 minutes now but the hard drive is still working on on stuff so yeah it's decent not the greatest battery but it still can be used and uh, the rest of it pretty nice I must say I, I really like it so that's about it guys, uh, thanks for watching, uh, like the video, ask whatever you want in the comments, uh, check out my other videos, lots of them are about laptops, and uh, yeah, see you in the next one, bye.